is Asya bint Muzahil, the wife of Pharaoh alayhi salam. Allah mentioned Asya in the Quran but without saying her name. In Surah At-Tahrim, Allah says about Asya radiallahu anha alayhi salam, وَضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا امْرَأَةَ فِرْعَوْنَ وَضَرَبَ اللَّهُ مَثَلًا لِلَّذِينَ آمَنُوا امْرَأَةَ فِرْعَوْنَ إِذْ قَالَتْ رَبِّ ابْنِ لِي عِنْدَكَ بَيْتًا فِي الْجَنَّةِ وَنَجِّنِي وَنَجِّنِي مِنْ فِرْعَوْنَ وَعَمَلِهِ وَنَجِّنِي مِنَ الْقَوْمِ الظَّالِمِينَ And Allah has given an example to those who believe, the wife of Pharaoh, when she said, O oh my Lord, build for me, build for me a house with you in your paradise, with you, close to you, and save me from Fir'aun and his actions, and save me from the oppressive people. What kind of woman is that for Allah to mention in the Quran? Well, I'll tell you what. She is the wife of the most richest king in that day, Fir'aun, who had everything under his command to the point where he said to the people, "Ma alimtu lakum min ilahin ghairi. I have not known any other God but myself for you. And this is his wife. She had all the palaces. She had everyone at her, at her feet. She only had to click her fingers and her wish was her command. She had everything. Yani Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us the example of one of the, one of the queen of queens of the world who had everything that you could wish for in her time. That if she was here today, she will be the most richest and most powerful woman on the face of the earth today. She had everything that one could imagine in those days. Why is Allah giving us her as an example? To tell us that you can have everything you want in the world. And if Allah were to give it to you, it is nothing compared to what Allah has in store in paradise. So what did he say? Asya alayhi salam. She had embraced Islam and followed the religion of Musa alayhi salam in secret. And when Fir'aun found out, she faced him. And she said, yes. I follow the, the, the religion of Musa salam. So Fir'aun brought his own wife with his soldiers and he began to torture her, whip her, make her bleed, punish her so that she may renounce the religion of Musa salam. But she stood firm, brothers and sisters. There is a hadith that states in narrations that he hung her from the ceiling with chains from her breasts. That's how he would torture her. And she would cry alayhi salam from the pain. But then she said the following words, O oh Allah, build for me a palace with you, close to you, with you, my Lord. And Allah showed her her palace in Jannah while she was under the torture. In the narration, it says that she began to smile under the torture because Allah had shown her her palace in Jannah. And Fir'aun would question, confused, how can she smile under torture? It is Allah who has comforted her, my dear brothers and sisters. She died under that torture with a smile. And Allah placed her in Jannah, close to him, in a place close in paradise in Firdaus.